Mike Glenn here from GMT Point and Specialist Limited. Right, I'm putting some of these Helifix bars in. So what I do is I grind this out with a nine inch grinder. So when I put the bar in, it's that far back. Uh, I've done another one down here. What I tend to do is leave a little piece sticking out. So I'll put my scissors there. So with the resin I'm going to use. This resin, it comes out in a little sausage. Don't know if you can see that. A little sausage. It's got two different chemicals in it. You don't need to mix it. Uh, the tube does it for you. Right. It's the Archem too. So what you need to do is a bit of fresh one out. Take the lid off. You get two uh, two ends for it in case one stiffens up. Um, what I do, because you need to take the cap off the end, is put this down here, but I don't over press. I don't really shove it in, and then the end should pop off like that. So what you want to do is take it out. Pull the end up and get your scissors and cut it off. But the second you get the scissors off and cut it off, you need to know where your joints are because I need to do two joints. Well, I've got one up here as well. I'm doing three here because the crack comes down the wall like that. So I try to put the middle of this meter long helifix bar in the middle of the crack. If the wall cracks straight down, you put the helifix bar right in the middle. You don't stagger it like this. <coughs> so what I'll do is just cut the end off. Put that back in there so I know where I'm going. So if you mess it out with this too long, it'll go off. So put it back in the tube. Put this back on. Get my end, put that on. Get my gun. Right, so I'll pick where I'm going to do, which I'm going to do this one first. So what I'll do is I'll go along. Put a good amount in. Then I'll take the end off so it stops the pressure going on it, so the end will stop, you won't lose the load. Then I'll get my helix bar. Just set it on the end. And then what you can do is get one of the old tubes. And just push your bar in. Right, so you can move on to your next one, or you can go over the top of that. I'd say you've only got, say, 10 minutes while it's in the gun. So you don't want to bring it right to the edge because you want to put your point and mortar in.
you can do is get one of the old ends and just drag it back so it covers that helix bar so it's solid like so If you can see any other bar, just cover it over. But normally this takes one tube to one and a half tubes per bar on this width joint. get back again. So what I'll do is do the same again on the lower one. So I'll take the cap off. I cut that end off, there's no need for it. So because the cap's on the end, you need to get the cap off. So you can see it's quite far back. And before it sets in the tube, anything like that, don't take off. Just leave, it'll go quite hard and it'll just chip off.
So I'll give that 10, 15 minutes. It's starting to, it's starting to go off now. So I'll give that 10, 15 minutes. And it'll be solid. So that's all it is. Leave that little marker I've done there. And then what I'll do is I'll just chip it off. It'll just come straight off. It's as easy as that. But up there, it starts on this corner, comes down, gets to the window, and then the crack goes that way. So I've put crack stitching bars up that way and that way. And if it's uh, a crack straight down the wall, just put your bars right in the centre. But because the crack comes down here, the centre of my bar goes in the centre of the crack. But please like, subscribe, hit the notification button. I've got over a hundred videos if you want to have a look at some of them. Just Google or uh, just YouTube GMT Point and Specialist Limited. Thank you.